to have a song that really celebrates that reality has been really encouraging. What's up, guys? Welcome to Five Minute Fatherhood. So there's a song uh, that has just blown up in the Christian worship yeah. world, uh, just called The Blessing. And I wanted to chat with you a little bit about this, Jeff. It's by Elevation. Um, they had a little snippet on, was that right? Elevation, uh, the worship team. Yeah, Elevation Worship and then Kerry Job and Cody Carnes were kind of like guests on it as well. But yeah, phenomenal song. Okay. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, it's the first time I'd ever heard a worship song with the theme of a generation, generational, multi-generational blessing. Um, yeah. And I feel like when people started listening to this song, <clears throat> it was interesting to me sometimes about, about um, when you're really feeling uh, moved by, by music, especially that has worship lyrics. Um, oftentimes, you know, they're very similar themes, right? Um, and so there's lots of themes that just get repeated in hymns and lots of themes that get repeated in, yeah. you know, sort of contemporary worship. Um, this is just a new theme. And I think it kind of took people by surprise because uh, and I, they told the story a little bit about they got together um, and, and sort of collectively wrote this song. I just felt like it was almost given to them. But the thing that I found really encouraging about it and some of the lyrics, if you guys haven't heard the song, I'd encourage you guys to look it up. It's, it's really beautiful. Um, they do the ironic blessing from the book of numbers, numbers chapter six, the ironic blessing. Uh, and then after that, they, they say, may his favor be upon you in a thousand generations in your family and your children and their children and their children. And that's the theme of the song is this sort of, so good. um, three, four generational chant, blessing yeah. that they just kind of like are praying or, and, and the thing that really struck me when I first heard the song and when I've listened to it a lot since then, is that they are touching a part of the heart of the Father that yeah. we have lost almost completely. Um, and this is the Father's intention to demonstrate his favor by blessing your family for multiple generations. And when you hear that, and and you, you that sort of, you, you begin to understand that, like, you're just overwhelmed by the love of the Father, the favor of the Father, the goodness of God, and how the story is a multi-generational story, and that we are so caught up culturally in our individual story, and so much worship even is sort of about us as individuals before God, and our experience as individuals. Um, but that's not the story that God is telling. The, the biblical story is a multi-generational story, and so to have uh, a song that is really sort of proclaiming the goodness of the Father because of his blessing on our our families generationally. And that that's the story I think when we pull back, we're going to like see, uh, we're going to experience, we're going to like, that's the movie I think in eternity that we're going to really uh, see. And so to have a song that really celebrates that reality has been really encouraging. Um, I encourage you guys to check that out and also just let your heart come alive to that part of the heart of the Father. And for a lot of you guys as fathers, that's the part of your heart that's going to grow m bigger and bigger and bigger as your family uh, starts to develop generationally. As you have your first children, and as they ha you have your first grandchildren, that's going to start to impact and affect your heart. But yeah, Jeff, I know you were excited and shared this song. And what, what did that say? Yeah, I think I texted to you right when it came out. We we absolutely love it. It's so powerful. I mean, it's actually the blessing. It's cool because it's the blessing we say every night. We say every Shabbat. That's what we put our hands mm -hmm. on the kids' heads and say that over them. And um, yeah, we absolutely love it. I, there, I will say one of the greatest memes of all time came out of this song. I don't know if you saw the meme. Where oh, yes, I did. It was, <laughs> yeah, where it said basically like how, you know, it's about the stimulus package going on right now. And it was basically, a, 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 you know, a caption that said, you know, asking the government, how are you going to pay for all this? And it was just the clip of them saying, <laughs> your family and your children and a thousand generations, or who's going to pay for all this? <laughs> I was that's like, right. that's gold. So that's sad. Gold. Um, so yeah, so that was the best, that was the peak moment of the song for sure. Um, no, yeah, I think it's an incredible song, powerful. And I love too, I mean, like you said, it's not just from number six, it literally like is number six. Like it's basically straight quoting. And I think that's what yeah. we need more of too, of more, more, more songs and blessings that are straight quotes from scripture, um, yeah. just recited over us, recited over our kids. And I think it's really, really powerful. Yeah, man, I love it. And this is, you really are, when you, you hear that song, what you're touching to is is the is the um, faith of Abraham, like the thing that yeah. really got Abraham excited about 
like his relationship with God was so intertwined with the with the way that God was blessing his multi generational family. And so, yeah, super excited to have a song that that really celebrates that. Um, guys, as things are starting to open back up, uh, also after um, the COVID crisis, um, one of the things we just want you guys to be aware of is that we we, keep, we get contact a lot by by different church leaders or people that are in charge of family ministries and churches asking like, how do we bring family teams into this? And so you can go to our website, familyteams.com, and we would love an opportunity to bring the Family Teams Workshop, which is a uh, really a two-day workshop that introduces the idea of being a multi-generational team on mission uh, to you, ch- your church. And so if you have questions about that or interested in that, uh, go to familyteams.com and, uh, and reach out. We'd love to hear um, how we can uh, really partner with your church in helping bring uh, this biblical idea of family uh, to your people.